In the last two decades or so, a growing number of pensioners have opted to leave their native countries to retire abroad, and the demand for international retirement is only expected to rise even more in the coming years. Each year, we provide an update on the best countries for retirement in the world. Main aspects like visa policies, quality of life, cost of living, climate, housing, and healthcare systems play a crucial role in the rankings of these countries. Most of these countries are already well-renowned among retirees as they frequently make it into the list. Additionally, many global outlets and magazines like Forbes and International Living have already released their rankings for 2024, and almost 80% of the report is identical. However, our ranking is going to be slightly different as we will also factor in things like safety index, crime rates, and tax incentives for pensioners. Number 15, the Philippines' geographic diversity, tropical climate, relatively low cost of services, and proximity to the rest of Southeast Asia have made the Philippines an appealing option for expats and retirees alike. A recent census shows that there are around 75,000 foreign retirees currently living in the Philippines, with most from the U.S., the U.K., Germany, China, and Australia. As a result, the demand for retirement in the Philippines is evident. The government offers a dedicated retirement visa named the SRRV program, which enables foreign retirees to live permanently in the country. The main qualifying criteria include a monthly income of at least $1,800 and a deposit of around $50,000 in a local bank. Other requirements include having international health insurance and a valid clean criminal record from your native country. Furthermore, pension payments or international remittances are not taxed in a Philippine bank account. The country is made up of more than 7,000 islands and has almost 150 cities, so there are lots of places to choose from with preferred locations being Palawan, Boracay, and the cities of Davao and Cebu. However, keep in mind that the Philippines is still considered a third world country, and the high unemployment rate leads to a high crime rate in most of its major metro areas. Colombia, from the Caribbean coast with its palm-fringed beaches to the lush Amazon rainforest and the majestic Andes Mountains, Colombia offers a comfortable retirement while maintaining a low budget. Expenses such as healthcare, groceries, and transportation can be quite cost-effective, with average monthly spending for a couple rarely exceeding $2,000. The visa policies are also very lenient, with the main requirement being a pension or income worth about $1,000 a month. Other pros of retiring here include good and affordable healthcare, diverse climate, and favorable exchange rates with the U.S. dollar and other superior currencies. However, the major con is the high crime rate, specifically near its Pacific region and the border of Venezuela. That said, Colombia is more than what the media portrays, and for the most part, it is fairly safe for retirees. France has always been one of the most popular European countries for expats seeking the perfect retirement. The climate, French food, and lifestyle are all big draws, especially for British, American, German, and Dutch retirees. The country is home to almost 800,000 foreign retirees, with most residing near the coastal parts of the French Riviera or in the interior parts amidst vineyards and chateaux. The cost of living depends upon the location one chooses, but collectively, a retired couple must have a budget of $3,500 to $5,500 to live lavishly. On the downside, France does not have a specific retirement visa but other visa programs can be utilized without needing a dedicated retirement visa. Most non-EU retirees opt for its long-stay visa called Visa Visiteur. This program enables retirees to obtain a residence permit after staying in France for one year. The main requirement is proof of an income of at least $1,800 per month, or about $3,600 for a couple. However, be aware that this visa is only valid for 12 months and after this time frame, applicants are eligible to apply for a residence permit known as carte de séjour. Retirees in Malaysia can enjoy a thriving community of fellow expats. High quality yet affordable health care, cheap goods, low tax rates, well-developed infrastructure, and diverse culture, among others. There are a range of different areas to choose from, such as the vibrant and picturesque island of Penang, to the bustling metropolitan city of Kuala Lumpur. However, 
Malaysia faces its fair share of cons. The obvious ones include congested traffic, long-haul flights, and unpredictable weather. The biggest drawback for retirees is its expensive retirement visa program, aptly known as the Malaysia My Second Home program. In the past, the requirements for this program were set very low, but due to higher demand, the government increased the threshold. Now the main applicant must have a rough income of at least $88,000 in addition to a fixed deposit of a minimum of $100,000 in a Malaysian bank. Nevertheless, successful applicants gain the opportunity to start a business in Malaysia, buy property, and enjoy certain tax incentives. Often cited as one of the most beautiful countries to retire in due to its traditional food, unique culture, good weather, and Mediterranean lifestyle, Italy is divided into 20 regions, all offering something unique and different from mountains to beaches, small villages to sprawling cities. Classic locations for retirees include Sicily, Puglia, Tuscany, Abruzzo, Lazio, and Lombardy. When it comes to visas, EU citizens can move to Italy without any specific prior immigration obligation, as they only need to register at the municipality where they are residing. For non-EU citizens, it is a bit complicated because there is no specific retirement visa. The most common route for retirees is through its elective residence visa program. The financial requirements for this program are not officially disclosed, but according to some sources, the retiree must have a minimum passive income of not less than $38,000 per year and health insurance with a minimum coverage of $30,000. The bureaucracy in Italy is very complex and prolonged, so the processing time for a visa might take longer. And unlike most other European countries, there is no online system for it. Despite all these drawbacks, recent surveys show that Italy is among the most desired countries for retirees. One thing that is recommended is to hire a local reputable lawyer to guide you through the whole process of retiring in Italy. The number of people choosing to retire in Croatia has increased dramatically in the last five years or so. This is mainly because the country's quality of life healthcare system, and safety index rank higher than many European counterparts. It is also one of the cheapest EU countries to live in. Moreover, it has good connections with the rest of Europe and has four defined seasons, making it an ideal destination for retirees. Even though the cost of living is lower, it still varies greatly depending on which city or town you choose. The Istria region, the Dalmatian coast, and its capital, Zagreb, are all popular with expats and retirees alike. When it comes to residency, Croatia does not offer a specific retirement visa. Instead, most non-EU retirees utilize its long-term residence permit, which requires you to either purchase a property in Croatia, show proof of funds in a local Croatian bank, or show proof of a monthly income of $2,500. Another major draw for retirees is the country's flat income tax rate, of only 10%, which also covers foreign source pensions. Croatia is also a member of the EUNATO and the Schengen area, meaning it enjoys economic and political stability. The Seychelles located off the eastern coast of Africa. This archipelago of 115 islands offers a haven for those seeking tranquility, adventure, and an idyllic retirement destination. Most international magazines oppose the idea of retirement in the Seychelles, mainly because it's secluded and the cost of living is very high. However, the higher costs can be managed if one cuts corners in the correct places, such as buying less imported goods. Besides living expenses, another major drawback is that the Seychelles doesn't offer a dedicated retirement visa. Instead, foreign retirees can obtain its gainful occupation permit or any other long-term residence permit. These programs are good for five years with the option of renewability and can cost about $8,000 for adults and about $1,800 for children under 18. In addition, foreign income and pensions from elsewhere are not taxed in the Seychelles. Mauritius, situated in the Indian Ocean off the southeastern coast of Africa, Mauritius is a retirement paradise with its breathtaking natural beauty, relaxed lifestyle, modern amenities, vibrant culture, excellent healthcare system, and cost-effective living.
It offers a 10-year residence permit to retirees age 45 years or above. This permit requires applicants to provide evidence of a monthly income of at least $1,500 to $2,000 or open a bank account in Mauritius with annual savings of around $188,000 to support themselves during their stay in the country. In addition, there are many favorable tax policies, including no capital gains tax, inheritance tax, or wealth tax, which can result in potential tax savings for retirees who invest in property on the island. The real estate market in Mauritius has a very low barrier to entry, meaning even budget-oriented retirees can look to buy their own house here. To top it off, the island is fairly developed with a well-established healthcare system and frequent transport links with the rest of the world.